What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be breaking down a sample play for you guys for free out of our New England Patriots offensive ebook that we just released on my YouTube channel. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never seen any of my content before, what I do on YouTube is I break down every single day Madden 21 tips and tricks to help you improve on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. We post videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And we also stream every single night at 10 o'clock right here on our YouTube channel. So uh, we got a lot of content, a lot of material for you guys, and my goal is just to help as many people as possible. So uh, I wanted to break down this little play right here. I actually really, really like this play. Um, and this is Gun Bunch Bunch Trail. Now, not very many people are running this um, that I've seen, especially this specific one with the with the comeback run on the left side, which we're going to do something a little bit uh, interesting to be able to handle that and deal with that comeback route. You see a lot of people running different motions and different things like that. What I'm going to suggest that you do is you actually come out in this play flipped. And the reason why is because if you're in mutt, you would want to have a slot apprentice at that left outside receiver, or you would want to have a hot route master, okay? If you don't have either one of those, we'll show you how to run this without that as well in just a moment. But I want to start first with um, doing this from a two by two. So um, this is basically going to turn into mesh posts is what we're going to do. But what I like about this specific route, that route to the square receiver that you're seeing on your screen right there, that is actually a much, much better way to run mesh than the actual mesh routes in the game. That route actually works the way it's supposed to. Unfortunately, a lot of the mesh routes, they work okay, but they just don't get the right release. That's the biggest issue with them. And so they go a little bit too deep. And then they don't always settle up in zone. They just kind of are a little bit uh, ineffective. So I want to break this down. Now, this is out of the New England book, and it does come from the gun bunch formation. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put Mike Evans on a post route, and then I'm going to flip to play. And as you see right here, he's going to stay on that post route, right? So that gives me a post route on the left side of the screen. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my R1 receiver, Chris Godwin, and I'm going to put him on a drag route. And then I'm just going to motion him to the left side. And what you'll see is this is going to get them onto the same plane. And now you're going to be able to hit this read. Now, really quickly, I'm going to actually jump out and grab a man coverage. Um, I accidentally forgot to pick man coverage. So we'll come out and grab a man coverage. That's Tampa 2, and it does work really, really well uh, against zone coverage. In my opinion, this is one of my favorite plays to go to against zone coverage in the entire game, uh, primarily just for all of the things that it can do and all the options that this is going to give you. So dime 146, and we're going to come out in uh, cover two man real quick. So bunch trail flipped. You come out, you put Evans on a, a post, and then you just flip the play. That's all you do. And if you want to run it to the other way, then just put your slot apprentice on the other side, and you can do it that way as well. But what you'll see here, this little motion over, and this is going to do really, really good against man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to see that these little drag routes are going to basically get uh, wide open against most man-to-man -man coverages, especially if you have good route running the better route running you have the better uh this is going to work for you now you can if you wanted to let chris goblin set you could do that i actually recommend not doing that and the primary reason that i recommend not doing that is simply because you want him to be unbumpable you don't want him to get pressed so right there that little quick snap and you see the mesh routes are going to come right underneath and you're going to be able to hit chris goblin against man coverage What's really nice about this is this actually is going to give you some other reads, some additional reads that are going to work really well against main man coverage as well. That first thing is this route to Scotty Biller. Now, this route is going to get probably jammed. More than likely, if they press coverage, he will get um, – actually, he actually does get a free release, which is nice. But you see there, he gets over. Now, if that was any other corner, right, if this was, a, if this was, if this was Mutt and that was Chad Johnson running that route, that wouldn't be an issue, okay? Um because we're playing regs and because it's Scotty Miller running that route, um, you see that that's a little bit of an issue. It's a little bit difficult for him to run that route. Um, but all in all, uh, you'll see he'll win more times than he'll lose. Like right there, he wins, gets all the way across. And what's nice is in man coverage, you can trust that this thing is not going to do some kind of crazy snapback animation that you don't want, right? This is true traditional um the way the mesh is supposed to work. Now, unfortunately, you only get one of those routes that sit against zone. They don't both sit against zone, but um, you have other reads as well to kind of deal with that 
And one of the things you could easily do is just take your tight end and put him on a put him on a, a drag or something. But um, but anyways, uh, so that's man coverage. Now the other routes, and what's nice about this is pretty much everything will beat man coverage. So what you'll notice here, these motion over routes are going to beat man coverage, right? But the other thing that's going to beat man coverage is this trail route to your tight end. Most of the time, that's going to get inside leverage, especially if you have a good tight end running that. Um, you're going to be surprised at how well. Um, that's going to get you separation against man-to-man -man coverage. Those trail routes are really good. They're always they've always been good in Madden, um, and they're good again this year. So you're going to be able to hit that route to Gronk right here, right on the inside cut, if you want to. All of this depends on where their user goes, but these are a lot of quick reads that you can really count on um, against man-to-man -man coverage. The next thing that you're going to want to be able to do is you're going to be able to hit your um, your left side solo receiver. Mike Evans. So we motion this across. He's going to be on that nice post. That post is going to come over and a lot of really, really good opportunities for you uh, to hit that. Now, let's say you don't want to do the trail route, which I completely understand. As you saw there, they're kind of running into each other, right? So that's fine. If you don't want to do a trail route, then just put him on a flat. That's all you got to do. And if you put him on a flat, he's going to be more of a zone read. He's not going to beat man coverage, but um, he will serve his purpose. Um, specifically in zone coverage so now what they're going to do is as they see you running this more and more the big thing that they're going to do uh pretty much guarantee it is they're going to go to some type of cover two uh zone coverage really heavy underneath coverage right you'll notice that this route on the right side is going to basically settle up he's going to settle up against zone coverage and so you're going to be able to hit this now the other thing that you'll notice um, with that drag route to Scotty Miller is he's going to sit in a very specific spot and he's actually going to sit in the same spot pretty much regardless of the the coverage in terms of zone coverage so he's going to motion over here sit in that little spot and now what you'll see is this trail route now has a bunch of space in behind it if you leave that trail route on your field as well as does the um, uh, gosh I'm drawing a blank the route to the route to Mike Evans. So the, both of those routes um, are going to get open deep because those those drags are going to suck the yellows down. And if they don't suck the yellows down, just take your drag, right? Um, the drags are the easiest route to hit. I mean, this this route to Godwin is wide open. As you can see, these things are going to roll um, pretty much against any coverage in the game. Now, one of the other things that I do like to do a lot, um, especially if they start playing like cover three, coming down pretty heavy, trying to get underneath everything, which they will, I guarantee you they will do, especially if you're using double drags, is basically right here, when the drags cross, when the mesh happens, just Playmaker R1 up, and as you can see here, he's going to go right over the yellow zones. This is primarily used whenever they are really, really going heavy, heavy zone drops, and they're like shading coverage underneath, and they're doing all of that stuff. If you Playmaker right as soon as that drag crosses, you're going to have a pretty good chance that this is going to be Chris Godwin that's going to get Playmaker. So, Again, right here, and you're waiting right for the mesh, and then playmaker up. You see, he goes up, and then uh, obviously I need just a little bit more time to get that hit that route. But you can hit that read um, if you want to. Um, also, another way to run this really quickly is to simply um, to to simply let me see, let me reset this. But if, if you wanted to, and you don't, let's say you don't have a slot of apprentice or anything like that, right? Um, just drag Mike Evans. Just drag Mike Evans, and it'll be the same basic concept here. Same basic concept. Now, I don't think it works as well um, because he's going to get jammed. That's the one thing that I don't like about it. But if you just drag Mike Evans, this this route to Godwin, um, if you smart route it, you'll see he'll go kind of a little shallower, and you'll be surprised. Against man, especially press man, he's going to get open a lot for you. So, you have options as far as that, even if you don't have a um, a slot apprentice that you that you're able to do it with. Another thing you could do because you have that slot apprentice, if you do have that slot apprentice, you could put Mike Evans on a corner route. And the reason that that matters is because this is now going to clear out more of that middle of the field for Gronk to be able to work. But this corner route you'll see is not that bad against man to man, um, especially if you have a good route run over there. Um, it's also really, really good against zone coverage. So, like, let's say they're running um, some type of, like, off coverage, soft coverage, you know, cover four, cover three, you know, it doesn't really matter, right? 
um, but they're coming underneath on this route to to uh, your back. Well, you can hit this corner route just hard left pass, lead that against against that zone coverage. So this is just a yard gaining play. I love this play. I think this is one of my favorite plays in the entire game, especially when you couple it with a really good uh, slot apprentice. It really does re. Um, reopen how powerful mesh can be so wanted to break this down for you if you want to get the full ebook that link is in the description below we have over 300 form, uh, pages of material in it over 36 formations broken down for you in full um, breaking down everything that you can do out of this playbook you obviously don't have to use all those formations right you can pick one or two that you want to start with and that's what I recommend doing um, but we just we did that so that you can have all of the material that you possibly need to be effective in Madden 21 on the offensive side of the ball. So far, the guide has been going really, really well. We've had a lot of really good reviews. Um, people have just really been uh, impressed with what we've done. And so I think that, and I'm confident that if you pick up this ebook, your offense is truly going to transform and you will be at the next level before you know it. Uh, it's really, really good. But if you're not convinced still, go ahead and just shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. And what I'll do is I will send you a, um, I will basically send you a sample formation. So this was a sample play. We'll send you a couple sample formations from the ebook, about two to three hours of preview content for you. Um, if you would like that material, go ahead and just shoot me a text message. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We've got more videos coming for you this evening, and we'll also be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. We'll see you later.